It's time for Ryan's Roses. Now, this is a public service. If you are uh, in a relationship and can't seem to get to the bottom of it, uh, some sort of issue you're between a rock and a hard place, and this is uh, one way to sort it out. The email says, Dear Ryan and Sissini, my husband's dad passed away in Mexico two months ago. My husband flew out to his funeral, as did a lot of family and friends, including a woman that used to cause trouble between us when we first started dating. I found out she went after when my sister-in-law mentioned it to me. I was furious and also wondering if something happened between my husband and her. Oh. So let, let me see. Bianca is in Southgate. Bianca, good morning in Southgate. A couple questions for you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Now, is there anything other than the attendance by this woman that makes you think something happened between your husband and her? I mean, the fact she caused trouble early on and attended the funeral, you know, someone has passed away. It doesn't, right. it doesn't mean that, that she's gone back to her old tricks. Is there anything else that's a red flag or a sign? Well, she's always been there, like, um, around. And I feel like I always have the feeling that she's always trying to break us up, honestly. Because she's still single. She, you know, she's not dating anyone. And it's every, every single time, like, I just have a feeling. It's just a weird feeling that she's just trying something. Should she have not gone to the funeral? It seems like it's appropriate for her to go to the funeral, right? I don't I don't think so because she's not that close. I mean, of course, like they have like, you know. Yeah, so she's obviously not family. Common, but What's I don't know. I just think it's inappropriate. I honestly feel like because of the past, she shouldn't she shouldn't have been there. What did she do in the past that was so bad? Yeah, what was she stirring up? Well, she it was a very like before my husband and I started dating, um Apparently, they were dating, but my husband was very unclear of exactly what happened between them, and he said that it was never very serious, but she said that it was very serious. So it was always, like, very, I don't know, like, unclear for me. Um, and I feel like she's just there. Like, she hasn't been able to move on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, have you, in your mind, just to play this out, what scenario do you think could have possibly happened? What do you think they could have done at a funeral? Well, honestly, not in the funeral, but maybe afterwards. I just feel like, well, my husband obviously was very upset. I mean, yes, did you ask him about this yes. woman and, and what happened down there? I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like maybe she took advantage of the situation. Mm. But do you think your husband was weak enough to let it happen? I honestly don't know because I always wonder what, what is the situation between them. Like, I've never had that clearness, but you know? How's like your guys' is marriage right now? Um, I mean, we're, we're okay. We've been together for seven years. We have a, we have a, a kid. Um, but it's not, I mean, of course, he's been upset, obviously. Um, but I'm just, I'm just very concerned. I have a weird, weird feeling. I haven't even been able to sleep even ever since he came back from the funeral. And especially because why would he hide that she was there in the first place? Oh, let, me ask was you, let me ask you a question. Bianca, how long have you been together? I know married seven. How long together? Eight. We dated a year before. We okay, so we have eight years of history here. Mm -hmm. And if you find out that he has done this, will you stay or go? I, I don't know. I have. I mean, we have a kid together. Like it's not black and white. Um, so you're saying there's a chance you could forgive him? I mean, it depends if it was after the funeral because he was, I don't know, like heartbroken, or you know, it depends. Or but if it's a situation that has been happening, obviously, no, I can't. I wouldn't be able to forgive him. All right, want you to hang on for a second. We're going to come back and make this call and see what's going on. We've got Bianca on the phone, and we're about to... So her husband's dad passed away in Mexico two months ago, so he flew down to the funeral. So just so we're clear, for those just joining us, why didn't you go to the funeral with him? I actually couldn't. Um, well, first of all, two situations. I, I work. I, I had a thing that I couldn't, couldn't even move. And my passport is actually not ready even. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't be able to, to travel outside the country. Okay, so Bianca finds out that this uh, other woman that used to cause problems for them mm -hmm. um, went down there. And your husband had what kind of history with this woman? 
They were they were dating. Apparently, my husband said it wasn't serious, but she said so. They they've been together, right? And she goes down to the funeral. You're telling us she's not that close, so she shouldn't have been there. You weren't there, and you think in a moment of weakness something might have happened. Got it? Right. All yeah. right. Here's what we're going to do. Sisney's going to offer him some roses. We want to find out who he sends them to, and then what he puts on the card. Need you? You'll hear everything. Need you to be very quiet until we come in on the air. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Here we go. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Omar. Hey, this is Omar. Hi, Omar. My name is Mari. I'm calling from Flowers and More. We're a new flower shop in Southgate. How you doing this morning? Uh, man. Hello, Omar? Omar. Hello, Omar. He's it's gone. Ryan Seacrest and Sissini. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. Are you there? He's gone. Hung you hung up? up? Did, was that the sound of your husband's voice? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Uh, all right. Patty, can we try him back? Yeah, dialing now. Hmm. Do you think he may be on to us? Did it just did it drop? Or did he hang up? All right, here. Shh, 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 shh. Here we go. Oh. Hello? Hi, is Omar there? Yeah, it's Omar. Hi, Omar. I'm calling from Flowers and More. We're giving away a free dozen roses today, and they're absolutely free. I'm calling to see if you'd like to send them to anybody. I know what this is, man. I know I'm not Omar? cheating! I'm not cheating! He hung up again. Okay. Wow. Um, hey, Patty, can you try him back? I'm, I'm gonna hand. Let me, let me to sell. I want to tell him he's on the air. I don't think he wants to talk to us. <laughs> no, he, well, he, no, I know. Hello, Omar. It's Ryan Seacrest and Sissy. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. We've got your wife on the line. Do you have a moment? Uh, I know what this is, man. We heard you say that, but you, we have your wife on the line. Do you have a moment? Yeah, put her on. Put her on. She's on right here. She's here. I'm, I'm here. Uh, Omar, she Yo. asked us to call you because she's worried that something happened. And I'm sorry for your loss, Omar. She's worried that something happened maybe at your dad's funeral in a moment of weakness. Is there anything she should be worried about? No, nothing happened. Like, she needs to stop this crap. About- like, stop bothering me about this. No, listen, I know that you're going through something very difficult. And is there anything that you want to tell her? No, nothing happened. Like, she needs to stop with this. I, I understand, but why are you angry? Because it's, like, nonstop. It's nonstop. She won't stop with this stuff. Because you didn't tell me about it in the my first place. My entire family anymore. was there. Baby, my entire family was there. I'm trying to mourn the loss of my father, and you're coming up with this stuff. Well, why didn't you tell me that she was there? I didn't even think about it. I dated this girl for, like, no time at all. Like, this is stupid. We have a kid, baby. Stop. Come on. Bianca, do you I believe love him? You. I love you. My entire family's there. You know she's close with the family. She knows she was close with my dad. We grew up together. Like, she's going to be there. You know what I mean? It wasn't a thing. So it's not a thing. So why why should I even tell you, baby? So wait, like, did, did you grow up with this woman? Because, Bianca, you were telling us that they're not that close. But it sounds like maybe you are if you grew up together. Like, my mom invited her. So, Omar, <laughs> I, we're gonna, I'm going to let you go. Uh, sorry, again, sorry for your loss. And I think your, your wife, she's just trying to, just wants to know what's going on. That's yeah. all. Um, I'm going to let you go and, and take it up with your wife. Okay, brother? Baby, I love you, baby. Be well. I'm sorry. Bianca? Yeah. I'm not going to judge this one because uh, who kn- like he who knows what emotions he's got <laughs> right. right now. And so you're the only one that can understand the sound of his voice and know if it's genuine or not. And we're going to leave you with that, but I guess be a little bit careful because he's he's fragile, you know. He lost his dad. Right. Right. Yeah, that's I really tried to let it go. It's just like it's been a couple of months since he came back and I just can't let it go. Do you That's regret not going to the funeral now, looking back? Yeah. You can't have regrets. Look, there's nothing you can do to change the past. So let's mm-hmm. figure out how we're going to deal with the present. All right, Bianca? Great. Thank you so much for your, your help. Good luck, sweetheart. I, ho- I hope you're, you get the truth and find happiness. Okay, babe? 
Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. I feel bad.